head our way, Arlingtonians, you can ride one of these blue bikes at any of the four new locations that are being installed throughout the town in the coming weeks. As of August 17th, the select board approved four locations for East Arlington and Arlington Center to have docking locations with a total of 38 bikes. Senior Transportation Planner in Arlington's Department of Planning and Community Development explains that the blue bikes in comparison to the line bikes would be more organized and would have access to other cities. We had a pretty good experience with line bike. The difference with the dockless model is that you, know, you could bring the bikes anywhere. Uh, and drop them anywhere. The challenge is that you know you don't know where they're going to be. You have to look on the app to find them, or just kind of see them in the in the location. And we had always kind of wanted to be part of the Blue Bikes program because the Blue Bikes, which you know used to be Hubway, is the one that connects you into Boston and Cambridge and the Central Core. With the Line Bikes, we weren't allowed to bring people could not bring bikes into Boston or Cambridge or Somerville because they have an exclusive agreement with Blue Bikes for. Uh, basically operating a bike share system. So over the course of time, we did have, a, like I said, we had a good experience with Lime. Um, there were a little bit of kinks here and there, but they ended up, um, their uh, program ended at the beginning of, well, it ended at the end of fall last year, but they officially ended it at the beginning of this year and went straight into electric scooters. One resident expressed how she likes the idea of riding a blue bike into Cambridge because Lime Bikes did not give her that choice. It will be nice that you can get a blue bike here that then you could ride into Cambridge and leave because previously if I picked up a Lime bike in front of my house, I had to ride it to the Arlington Cambridge line by Elwife and drop it. The senior transportation planner went on to explain that the location planner was not quick, but shared the different factors that went into the docking locations that will be installed soon. I worked with you know, the bike advisory committee and some advocates from the East Arlington area in order to try to locate some of these stations, which, you know, have specific sizing guidelines and that kind of thing for us to be able to locate them. And so we also did a public poll a survey where we got over 500 responses of different networks that we had developed to try to, you know, have a system that would uh, be able to get to Mass Ave, the bikeway and Broadway. Um, and because all of the closest stations are in Cambridge and Somerville, all the new stations or the, the stations that um, we're starting as our part of the program would have to be as close to those stations as you know possible or, or required as part of the Blue Bikes guidelines. So that's kind of why they're all in sort of the center and, and off to the east area. These are images of the proposed locations that were presented at the last select board meeting and can be found on the Arlington Town website. Blue bikes, once installed in Arlington, will cost $2.50 for every 30 minutes. You can also purchase an all-day pass or even an annual pass that can be selected online or on the Blue Bikes app. Some are excited for the addition of the Blue Bikes in Arlington, but some think it was not in dire need, but beneficial for those who can't access a bike. I think they're great. I mean, as long as they can be kept safe is the biggest thing with COVID, but I feel like they're awesome. I feel okay about it because they're used outside and if people carry hand sanitizer with them, like I always do, <laughs> I think uh, that shouldn't be a problem. I think what is a problem is uh, people getting together with big groups inside, not social dis distancing and not wearing masks. But the blue bikes, if used properly, that should be fine. Blue bikes, I think, are going to be an ad, but they're not really what we need here. They're more for people that don't own bikes or don't have a bike with them in that moment. Um, whereas the real goal is to solve that last mile of transportation so people will choose not to drive. Along with the four locations that were approved by the select board, they're going to determine at the next hearing on the 31st if two more locations could be added. For ACMI News, I'm Maxim Isaac.